morning students so today let's begin uh, with chapter exponents uh, so here you'll be learning on the few basic of the exponents clear so you can see i've written a m and a is known as the base and m is known as the exponent or power whenever any number any particular number is multiplied multiple times or same time or repeatedly then we give or we write that kind of number in a exponential form clear so exponential form means as you can see the few examples have been written there 2 square 2 cube 2 to the power 15 so if there is 2 or 3 then we read it as square or cube if there is more than 3 then we read it as a power all right so base and exponent or power so on the on this context there are few laws of exponent as well we need to learn about it clear so our laws of exponent says that if the bases are same then and the numbers are getting multiplied then the power of that respective is respective number is being added and if it is given divide then the powers are subtracted and if it's in the bracket then we will multiply okay one more thing to keep it in mind when the bases are in negative then we need to see or we need to check the power so if the power is in even number the answer that comes will always be in positive and the, if the power is in odd number then the answer we get will always be in negative clear now let's see how to solve a few questions so you need to see it's in either you have to do the exponential form or you have to find the value all right so what is exponential form is if you see any number if it is multiplied repeatedly then we write it in its respective power as you can see 5 is written 3 times isn't it so 5 is written 3 times means our base is going to be 5 and the power will be 3 clear so if the question is given to find the value you can see it's given uh, 2 to the power 4 that means 2 you have to multiply it by uh, multiply it four times so when we multiply two four times we get 16 as an answer so in this manner you will be doing it either exponential form or finding the value so similarly you can see the next example is given power of seven so here you are asked to break the number and convert it into the power of seven so to find <coughs> any numbers uh, in terms of power then we'll be factorizing the given number so when we factorize 343 we get it it can be factorized by 7 3 times so it means the power of 7 is 3 when we multiply 7 3 times we will be getting the 343 